Well, it's opening daily, 2023, um, Oregon archery season. Heading up to go try to kill a hopefully a big velvet buck. It's September 2nd right now, so bucks are probably starting to rub off, but hopefully we can get a big one that still is full velvet. It's gonna be a good morning. It's gonna be overcasty today, I think. It shouldn't rain, but it will be a little overcasty. I don't think it's gonna be a very bad wind, a, a three mile per hour wind maybe, so I'll be good. But we're heading into the spot that we've been scouting and have found some pretty big bucks in. So, it's probably gonna be a lot of people, but you just gotta find the bucks where the people aren't. So we're heading in right now, it's four. It's daylight at 5.50. We're not very far walk into there, but it's gonna be a good day. Heading up the trail right now. Hiking in. There's quite a few rigs up here. We got two guys in front of us right now on the trail. But let's hope it's gonna be a good one.
Next week, and so elk hunting, use my own bow. But yeah, I just thought I'd tell you guys that. Well, I'm ending on stock right now. The wind's a little sweet, like it's switching a little bit, but it's switching in directions that should be okay. We're gonna come in from above him and hopefully get onto him. But I got earpiece in, walkie talkie, and so my buddy can guide me in. Well, so the buck got up out of his bed and fed down quite a ways and bedded back down. And my buddy was, said he could see me and everything. He said I was nowhere near the buck, said I was at least 300 yards away. And so I stand up and he said that there's no way I'm getting a shot in there. So yeah, so I went to back out, I stand up and the buck jumps up in front of me at 60 yards. Could have easily shot him if I knew he was there. So. Now I'm hiking out of here. It's a long ways out of here. No boots. This rock hurts. But I guess it happens sometimes. Just wish doing a little better communication. He, he said he could see me and said I wasn't up near the buck. And I was 60 yards from the buck the whole time. So yeah. 
hiking out. It's day two of the hunt. Right now we're heading into our glassing spot. We're going to the same spot I glassed with a buck yesterday. Put the stock on it. So, hopefully, we can find something again. It's rained all night. Everything's soaked, which sucks. So, every, all of our stuff's getting wet. I can do this brush. But, make our way in. Hope they get a buck better in a good spot and go kill him. Should be a good one, hopefully. But let's go get it. Well, that's kind of a cool thing to see up in here. A bunch of mountain goats. Those two are like trying to fight. <laughs> what are they doing? It's tempting. I passed a bigger buck yesterday. I also kind of want to go elk hunting. I can make a stock around that side. That would be easy. Yeah. Just cut them off. I'm heading on a stock right now. I have to go drop a lot of elevation. Loop around them. The wind blowing down at them. So I'm trying to get them to the side of them. walking through here we're gonna end up going through this huge canyon and go way up over it's gonna be a probably eight mile hike today but look at this bull pedicle we just found i think it's big you can't even close get your hand around it uh, that would have been a tank we got some sheds in here we gotta pick up that i glassed up but well that thing would have been big a couple years ago not 20, <laughs> but hopefully we can find some bucks. Well, we made it down to the very bottom. We're hiking up a bit, like a little finger ridge right now. Kind of glassing in both sides, but we sat down for a lunch break. I have some jalapeno tuna with some ritz. He has some um, salmon with some ritz. But got the face all painted up with some um, like charcoal on a tree and so. Hopefully we can find some box. I've seen only three deer so far since we got down in here, so not looking too hot, but we got a shed right up on top of this ridge I'll grab. It looks like a decent one, but 
Hopefully we can find someone. This one isn't. Maybe, uh, maybe it's New Zealand, this buck. Finally found a half decent buck, not a shooter, but there's this buck and a few other ones, small ones, but starting to finally pick out some deer on this hillside. So that's good. Find some more. Well, there's a bunch of group bunch of bucks in this group, and here's a hard horn four point. Can't really tell how big he is for sure. He has nice eye yards, I know that, but Quite a few bucks in this group. Hopefully we can find a big one. Well, heading on a stock right now. Okay, we're trying to put a stock in the hard horn buck. It's gonna be difficult because there's so many bucks around him. But um I'm gonna make a huge loop around, get above him, gain a bunch of elevation, try to come down because he's the very highest buck in the group. And, I'll have to play the wind because the wind's switching so much right now. Hopefully once I go over there, um, thermals will set in by now, by then, and be good. But, heading in, it's 152, and hopefully I know it's buck dead. Well, that's a bonus to the stock. A bull shed. I'll take that. There we go. Gonna keep stalking. Well, here's another bonus. <laughs> Let's pick up sheds while I'm going to look for bucks. There we go.
That sucks. It is 75. And I don't know if the one of the bucks caught me or wind switch. It's been kind of iffy all night. And I don't know, but I've seen those bucks since one or started the stock at 1.30. It's now 6.30. So that sucks, but always tomorrow, I guess. Storms brewing. Got a long ways out of here. Still got all, all errors in the quiver. Oh, no water. I'm dying, but spotted that buck from that ridge over there. They loop all the way around. Sat on for five hours. And this doesn't always work out. But almost to the trail. I think I'll just hike the trail out. Dying. I haven't had water since one. So almost seven now. I've been hiking the whole time other than I was just waiting on his bucks, I guess, but hopefully. Hopefully I can get up get up to my buddy. He has one more water. So he'll give me it. Then we, we just had to walk the ridge out. But storm right there. It was a good day. Wish it could have ended with a kill, but I'll take it. Got a sock. Got two socks actually today. One of them almost sealed the deal on, just not quite. Yeah, it was a fun one. Well, you guys probably can't hear me very well because of the wind, but made it to the trailhead and to like a parking lot. There's been vehicles there all weekend. Not a single vehicle. So I was hoping I could get water from someone or else get a ride down to my truck. So now I got a mile and a half on the road back to my truck. And I can feel the no water. Should have brought more this morning. I meant to fill up my water bladder and forgot to. But definitely feeling dehydrated. I gotta make it back to my truck somehow, so just cruising along. Well, day number three of the hunt. Hopefully today's gonna be the day. It's gonna be doing kind of the same tactic tactic yesterday, but um we're in switch be switching spots a lot. So what gonna hopefully glass a lot more area than we have been. But it should be a good one. Hopefully, hopefully we can find that big mature buck we want and get it get it down. But it's gonna be a good day. Let's kill something. Well, it's out here hunting right now, but it's a solo hunt and. Just walked out to this little glass and knob from my truck, not that far from my truck, and glassing down this huge basin thing right down here with a bunch of dead trees and cyanosis stuff. And right off the bat, glass a really big four point. I have a video of him super deep, four tall, big, big four point. And look, watch him for a little bit. He wasn't moving at all. He was with two other bucks, just feeding, and he was on huge pretty huge open spot like i thought there's no way he could disappear so i ran back to my director on my phone scope and got my pack and everything got back and he's gone just there's a little group of trees kind of like thicker group of dead trees to the right of where he was i'm really hoping he just went to those but i don't want to just keep at it keep glass on this hillside and hopefully pick him up again but he was really pretty buck but i might have found him again just got done with that last video. I think, it, yeah, I just found him. I think it's him. It might be a smaller buck, but it's still a big four point. They just bedded down. I'll show you guys with the phone scope. I can just barely see him through a tree branch, so I can't really tell yet, but <clears throat> another good buck if it's not him. But I might be making a play on those. So I'll show you guys them.
feet, 200, 300 yards from where he was bedded the first time. And he was heading down towards some, like he's, I don't know, 100 yards from timber that I'd never find him in if he went into it. But he was heading down towards that. And so I was just waiting for him to re-bed again. And he finally just bedded in some good shade. So I think that shade will stay there for quite a while. And so I might be able to make a play on him. He's big. I think, I think he might be in a pretty good spot for me to play. So I head in there. Fingers crossed. Let's hope everything goes right and just put an arrow straight through his lungs. He's such a pretty buck. Just big, typical. But it's going to be a long stock, but hopefully it'll turn out to be worth it. Got the pack all loaded up. I'm heading in. I hope he doesn't move him before I can get to this next place where I think I might be able to see him from like five, six hundred yards. Just gotta pray he doesn't get up and move. The pack's feeling pretty heavy, but I'm a little more prepared this time than last time with some actual food and a little bit more water, so. And there should be some water down this bottom here. And I do have a water filter. If I, ever, if I run out on this one, I should go get some more water on the way back. But wish me luck, heading in.
really bad. Gone through, I figured the wind was boofing off the whole time, pretty much. And I was still being super quiet, being careful, because I was thinking if he didn't get spooked out. <clears throat> and I was coming in straight on to where he was bedded. And he, which I hear, so he moved my left up the hill, and he's at 30 yards. He was out of his bed and moved up the hill. And um, he must have been raking a tree because he has no velvet anymore at all. So he stripped his velvet. And I got full draw on him at 30, and he was he was like moving through the trees. And I was trying to stop him. He wouldn't stop. And then got out to 60, and he stopped, but just I didn't have any shot at all. I was It was through too many trees, and he just kind of walked off the whole way. I don't, I would go after him, I don't know really where he went, I don't want to push him too hard, because I think it's definitely a buck I can get in on again. But dang it, it's a long stock for that, so, now time to head out of here, I guess. Might eat some lunch while I'm down here and then head out. I don't know if you guys can tell how steep this is, but it's pretty much straight up. Just started up at the bottom right there, but... Straight up. I go straight up and over this. Draw him to another canyon. Go straight up and up and over the other side. So, yeah. Not very fun. A lot better if I had hiking up here to get service to call someone. Because I just shot the buck, but nope. Uh, water in here. These oatmeal's are pretty nice too have for it's like you know how to use any jet boiler or anything heat and it comes with a little heating pad put three to six ounces of water in there and so it's not much water i think less water than the mountain house and it tastes a lot better and they come with, come with napkin a spoon and salt and pepper don't have as many calories but pretty nice Throw the heating pad right in there and close it up and let it cook for three to five minutes. But you'll feel it, hear it start boiling and start steaming up a bunch. And take a second, but just sitting up here trying to glass that buck up again, see if maybe sit on him, see if I can put another sock on him at some point or try something out. I really want that buck. It's a really pretty buck. I don't know where he went. I should be able to find him again, though. It's pretty open over there. It's starting to heat up. You can hear it. Steaming. On uh, cold days, you use this little heater. It's really pretty warm. Yeah. I'll update you guys if I see anything else or whatever whatever happens.
up here at the same glassing spot I was a couple days ago when I found that big buck and put a good stock on him and got 40 yards from him. But he just got up here and even we found him a little while ago and we've been watching him for a while and he still hasn't bedded yet. But here's my dad today, so I have someone to guide me in. And so hopefully he beds in and gets a and put a stock on him. switch and start blowing straight up at him. My dad said he got out of bed and he was just going to walk up the hill, so this was still making me try to find him. And he caught my wind and took off. second to last weekend of archery season and I figured I'd come out today. I was out this morning and uh, seen 20 bucks I think it was. Around 20 bucks and uh, like I don't know six or seven of them. I think about six of them were definitely shooters and um, they weren't very far off any roads or anything. Just glassing from roads and right now it's just downpouring. So terrible weather to be Hike, going around hiking and stuff so I'm kind of just heading out right now I checked one spot back there and didn't see much seen some does and stuff but not any bucks but I'm gonna head up to this other place that I've been seeing most of the deer and um hopefully I can glass a nice buck off the road and just put a short stock on it hopefully don't get too soaked I also forgot my headlamps and so I was no flashlight just a fun light so I don't want to drop into anywhere too far, but we'll see how this goes. Fingers crossed, hopefully we can get something down.
Well, the buck was standing about 10 yards right there when I shot him. And here's, that's pretty good sign of my fletching. So it came off, but should be pretty easy tracking in the snow. I got blood way up here already. I already tracked it up a little bit, then I set it back out. I think I shot it a little bit far back, but yes. Yeah, so. find a trail that they ran. So I went off the blood right back there, but I see it. Alright, well, hopefully we'll find some more blood pretty soon. Well, don't have very great news, but, um, so, after I kind of looked around a little bit and tried to find more blood, um, I decided just to like back out and wait for a little bit longer because uh, my girlfriend and her dad um, were heading up there to help me um, go look for it. And so I went back to my truck and waited for them. They got there and we dropped back down and tried to try to find more blood, couldn't find any blood. So we just decided to um, all kind of split up through there and just kind of slowly walk through and just, it was tall seed and nose and stuff. So it was hard to see. We figured we might hopefully find them bedded down dead. And I was walking and um, I seen horns through trees, or not through trees, through the sea and I could just see his horns sticking up and I knew instantly it was him bedded down. And so I got a range finder, I was right before dark, like it was, I could barely see. And I got range on him at 41 yards and he stood up after, he was bedded for a while while I was standing there looking at him, making sure it's him. And he stood up and um, I drew back and just I went to settle my pin on him and it was too dark for me to even see my pins. And so I couldn't ever get a good, like clean shot on him for my, for a follow up shot. But he just kind of walked away and just kind of walked over the hill. He never ran. And so he's hurt really bad. I'm th almost positive it's just liver, no lung. Because he would be dead if it was lung by then. It was at, it was two hours after the shot is when that happened and so Liver, I, I guess, takes a little longer than I thought, but I've shot a couple. I shot one other buck in the liver, and it died fast. So, I, like, pretty fast. So I figured two hours was plenty, but I guess it was a little needed a little bit longer. But hopefully, I can get up there in the morning and find him dead. He shouldn't have went too far, and he should pile up dead. He'll be fine. The meat will be good. It's it's gonna be under 30 degrees up there tonight in the snow, and so should be just fine for meat, but. I'll let you guys, I'll keep you guys updated when I get up there in the morning and hopefully, finger crossed, I find them. Well, it's pretty, pretty snowy out today. We knew there weren't be any tracks out here, but just kind of gritted through and he was bedded down in that thick stuff. About 150 yards, 200 yards from where I jumped him yesterday, probably. He's pretty. It's a nice bladed three by four. Exactly what I thought he was. Big blade on that side, nice four point on that side. Dark horns. Pretty, pretty buck. Knew the shot was a little bit far back, but got it done. It's good. Good buck for the season. Got a big bull, not big bull, but nice bull and a nice buck. I get getting him butchered up now and getting packed out. Got him all propped up. Such a pretty buck. Big bladed three point side. Uh, 16 inch, probably 15 inch G2 on three point side. Big blade. Shot was a little bit far back and delivered him but he made about 400 yards probably and bedded down bedded this second bed he bedded down in but big hook eye guards are super pretty 
but 2023 buck down got all my tags filled now and all i got is utah this year rifle and so hopefully i can get a big one over there Got all loaded up. Two front shoulders and back straps in mine. I'll just throw two line cords over his shoulder. I forgot his pack, but all loaded up. Looks good on there. Such a pretty buck. Big blade of three. Had to pack him out. Heading out, got a load in the pack. Still not too far to pack out, but still good. Pack all loaded in. Sweet buck. Made back to the truck. Got a buck all loaded up. Man, wasn't too bad to pack. It was only about 400 yards or something, but it seemed like a long ways. It was heavy. Well, that's me. The closing of this video it was a fun archery season Got a lot of cool footage a lot of good stocks and finally made it happen on a pretty solid buck super happy with it not the biggest but pretty good one i'll take that for an archery kill a solo hunt well, that's me the end of the video thank you guys for watching